Good morning, welcome to Forwards. We're just about to assemble a very nice um, turn R14 setup for a customer. Just thought we'd give you a quick overview of the parts that would go into to building a sort of uh, family setup. So this is a husband and wife and a newborn, little Oscar. And this is the setup they're gonna go with. So this is uh, a turn R14. And we're gonna be fitting the storm box on the back. And it's gonna have the sidekick decks underneath the storm box to give it extra support. The Oscar's gonna be in a Yep 2. So that's gonna clamp onto the um, onto the seat, or onto the rack, should I say. So this is the clamp version. And to, to go with that, I'm just gonna skip ahead on my, my parts here. So we've got the clubhouse. So the clubhouse two, that one is. So it's gonna have the clubhouse. We will have the straight bar on the back. This obviously comes with a two bar. So this, the straight bar or the um, the kink bar. So we'll put the straight bar on that one. And then back to the um, transporter rack for the front. So we do like to fit the transporter rack on the front of it. So this is the rack that got on the front of the bike. And we use that with a plastic container with a lid. So these are the hinge lid containers come in all various sizes. And then uh, that's the brand that we use, the Hour packaging. Um, they're from Germany, I think that's the right way of saying it. But these are really nice because they're just hinged. You can just lift that up there, which is quite good. And then we use that there to carry all your essentials around. Then we have a ride pocket on the front as well. Um, this is highly recommended by Jenny, one of the, the main riders we have with the turns. Um, she loves it for putting uh, like your phone and all that sort of stuff in. So we've got one of those on that go on the handlebar stem. A couple of bottle cages so you can keep, uh, keep some water on board all the time. The clubhouse I've already showed you. Then security wise, it's gonna have its own lock on it which is built into the bike. Then we're gonna use the Abbas Gold Secure Lock, an additional lock and then a tracking system. That's all gonna be on there. And it's the, the R14 as you know comes with a dual battery, so the two 500 batteries. And that probably gives you a good overview of the stuff we're having on it. And then we're going to get it assembled now. Quite excited to build this one. It's really cool. Um, and then I'll show you show you what the bike looks like when it's all finished. See you in a bit. Hi, welcome back to Forwards Electric. Yet another video that we're having to rush because uh, the customer is super excited and has come down early. So he's on his way. He's about 10 minutes away and he's going to ride his brand new turn GSD home in the pouring down rain. So I've just thought I'd take the opportunity after seeing the bits on the floor a second ago in the video just to show you the bike in its finished form. Uh, super happy with this one. Uh, it is going to change their life. They are getting rid of a couple of vehicles for this. So it's, it's going to be amazing. So I'll give you a, a quick tour top to bottom. Just trying to point out any other highlights over the standard GSD and then maybe I'll... I'll say some bits and pieces as we go. So as we know, Turn GSD is the R14 model, so it's got the roll-off hub with the electronic shift in. So uh, up and down gears are just on the right-hand side here. Um, just some tweaks we do to all our builds. On the left-hand side here, what we do is we swap the up and down controller with the, um, the release lever for the stand. We just find that uh, the stand is, the, I think the item you use a small amount of time versus the controller going up and down. So we um, just swap them over. So this moves a little bit closer. So it's a bit nicer for the customer to get to that. Uh, and then the, that lever there is just moved over. This is snug up to the to the center. So we just slide them over. This you'd have to take off. I've taken the control unit off to be able to raise the handlebars up and down. That's the only thing having that there. Uh, so customer's gone for the pocket on the front as well. So this is really good for holding your phone, wallet, keys, bits and pieces, just having them to hand, which is really good. Comes with a nice rain cover in there as well. And uh, we also fit a couple of bottle cages to this. So he's gonna be doing some really big adventures uh, while his wife's riding her bike. She's a uh, ex-pro uh, road racer. So she's gonna be riding her bike. Uh, James is gonna be carrying a little Oscar on the back, probably handing bottles out to her, I imagine. So we've just popped up a couple of those on there for him as well. Uh, front box is the smaller box. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head what literage this is, but all we want this to be doing really is just to be uh, readily available at time for carrying locks and stuff. So we've got the um, extension lock to go with the normal clasp block around the, the fork leg there. And then also the, the heavy duty Abbas one, which ensures it's approved. And then we always stick a bit of foam in the bottom of these boxes to try and quieten it down. It's a nice little trick to your... Um, 
rubber bands under there like so. So just um, loop it through itself and hold it. And then you can then just, when you want to just secure this, we can just clip it down like that on the front and it will stop it rattling around, which is really nice. Sorry, there's a bit of flicker on the camera. And then if you've got the larger boxes, you can just raise this up. So change the rubber up. I've got it on the lower one just to stop it rattling there. Uh, so that's the bits on the front, I think. Obviously the strap we've just put there, which comes with the, um, the, the front transport rack that just holds the cables in nice and tight. This side here, we do spaces differently. So if you're a bit geeky like we are, you'll notice that the actual spacing of the levers are different either side because there's more accessories on one side to the other. So we just shift the brake lever and the bell in a little bit, and then you have a little gap. And then that means that these are, are the same both sides. I think it's about 16 centimeters. I measured that. So I've just done that little tweak there for him. Uh, they're a bit of an avid bike family. So we've put some SPD pedals on. So we've got a flat on one side just for that normal run down to the shops and the, the kids running, the school running stuff. And then we've got a nice SPD pedal on the top there because he's going to be doing 100 mile sort of adventures on this and tour mode and stuff, which is pretty cool. Uh, we've done our normal rubber band on the lock, uh, lock key for the, for the front um, wheel lock. And that's just so you can pop that through your wrist when you go to the shop so you don't lose it. If you're anything like me, I tend to lose mine and I can't get home. So that's quite a nice little touch. Um, it's got muck off tire sealant in the tires front and rear. We do that as standard on all our builds. Uh, the R14 obviously comes with two batteries. So it's got both of those in there. And I've set it up with the medium, the medium bumper on the seat post because there, there's a variety of, um, of weight there between the two riders. We've got James, who's quite a big lad, over six foot tall, and then Becky's tiny. So got just something in the middle. Let's see how they get on with that. Uh, it's got the Storm Shield box on the back, which is absolutely awesome. This thing is an absolute beast. There's so much space in here. I don't know if the camera can see all the way down the bottom there. So the Alaska is going to be looking after all the shopping. And then you've got the sort of shield around there. So this is the, the child seat cover that goes on top of the Storm box. So this just comes off. I can zoom back out. Sorry if you're not being able to see. As I said, I am trying to rush this. So that's the size of the storm box there. Massive, as I said, down inside there. So this is where you carry all your shopping and stuff. Just literally drop your shopping down the bottom there, all the bags around the bag. And then little Oscar will be looking after it as he's going along. Um, and then it comes with two, two different covers. So this cover can go over him and keep him sort of relatively dry obviously a puffy jacket on top or whatever and then you could put the rest of the storm shield on top of it if you wanted to and it also comes with another cover um if you didn't have the child seat on so if you wanted to whip this off quickly you could just put the normal cover on the top of the box there uh, this is the clubhouse mark ii and we have done the wrap already there so when um oscar's a bit bigger he's going to take it take this we're going to take the seat out and he's going to use it without so that'll be for him to hold his hands on too so that's all done, ready for him. So a couple of bits we're waiting for for this build. Extensions for the stand. We've got a pair of those on order. They're coming direct from Milan. And then also we're going to have a hitch on the back here because the customer's already got the two-lay rear trailer. So there's a, a hitch kit, the, the hitch um, owl kit's going to go on the back here. And then eventually we're also going to put the bike mount on there as well because they want to be able to tow the bikes and zip them um, put them on the back as well which is pretty smart so that's probably as much as i want to go over now i think we're going to end up with a nylon display on it um, but i have asked him at the moment just said sort of whole fire let's just get you running with it and then we can do the nylon at a later date uh, rather than go crazy to start with we'll just show you the boxes um to start with i'm just going to put my hand over there on the top of the box lid there we just have all of the serial numbers and stuff and then this is one of our service boxes we always provide for the customers. Um, it has got a hidden um, security device on it as well that's tucked away inside the bike somewhere, so you won't be able to find that. Um, and that's a tracking system for the bike, which is really good. And then we also just label up the keys nicely for the customers. So we um, that's his spare keys, he'll have it home. And then he's going to have some lock keys, which we'll just keep in the box room. But this is all laid out to show him. He's going to be in about two minutes, I imagine. That's his spare bar, which you don't use for the clubhouse. Battery charger, obviously. Then we've got the base for the clubhouse seat for when you are just going to sit on there without the, um, the yep. Should have said about the yep. We'll show you that quickly in a second. It's got one of those in it. That's his manual. That's his other spare parts there as well. So these are just um, standard pedals and bits and pieces that are left over from the build that we don't require. And then this is the storm cover for the storm shield 
uh, the storm box, should I say, if we're not using that seat. And just show you really quickly, this is the Yep seat. Probably seen this in our last video anyway. So it's the Yep 2, and this one is the clamp version one, which I don't know if you can see down there. Probably can't. Uh, it's got a lock on here as well, and then there's a little um, clamp on the side there to lock it in. So I've just sort of positioned it right in the middle so he can be well covered. So that's it. I've got a dash because I need to be prepared. Customer's probably outside the door now. See you on the next video, and I hope you like this one. Yet another awesome bike to change someone's life. Cheers. Bye.